Hello my soccer universe. Next health update. I think getting there. Getting there still in my second set of sick clothes. And you see even sick clothes include uh, sock soccer jerseys, long sleeved ones. Of course, as a favorite, I think I got this two years ago. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So um, uh, still one of my absolute favorites. But I thought let's start off the weekend by showing you my latest acquisitions without going into detail for, for those uh, separate videos. But I uh, have been quite a few shirts, um, not that many, but it will make a nice video. And I wanted to do them already in January when I actually did get them. Uh, the first few when I said, now nah, let's make a big video. The first one, I saw this online and this would have all, almost been my first Liverpool shirt. I saw this one and I thought I really like it. Um, the white for Liverpool makes a whole lot, a lot of sense. I'm not too crazy about the way the color is. I think it should either go all the way red or all the way black. I'm not sure uh, why there's just this black line here. I personally would like it better if it was you know that this would go all through but it's a little bit more meal and I think for Liverpool all red would work fine. Uh, I think why it, what stopped me from buying it and why I got this Liverpool shirt here the one from 2013 the Warrior one uh, is that it is the away jersey and also that to be honest I really like the one I had the Adidas one and they were not too successful yet. But if I looked at it, the more I look at it, I really like this pinstriping here. Even though the black spawns are always pulled, pulled me off, but I wanted to have the full crest. This I, I love the full Liverpool crest. And I know here it's all in red. I think in the two crests it has a little bit more green. But I really like that one. And when I got that one, and now let's pull the police glow, I actually was really surprised. Look at the pinstripes. They're not all red. That's actually a German flag here. That caught me off guard, uh, but still, it's a great looking shirt. Absolutely great looking shirt. I like the inscription here on the inside. Uh, even though they were not that successful in, I think this is a successfully beautiful shirt that I have to do some work on, which I will do today. I realized that while I was doing the last video on how to fix shirts. Speaking of, in that video you saw this Atletico shirt, now you see it in its full glory. Um, I actually wanted to get the 2013-14 one, the one where they won the championship and were in the Champions League final. But it just didn't look in the way right, it was a little bit too, too expensive. This one I got in the end for two, two euros because it was super stained and uh, at the moment you have to look hard to find the stains. I mean I still can look for a few but what I also liked is that here's the Vincente Calderon in there I wanted to have one with the original crest although I liked the, with the new crest they have done overall a good job except that it keep the key the tree colored I really like this uh, bear at the strawberry tree logo but I understand that it makes more sense if, if it's turned the other way around uh, and the other thing that is very curious about this one is look at the striping pattern. First it looks normal but the stripes get thinner uh, the further out you go. But yeah, nice shirt. Looking forward to wear it. If Atletico will finally win something important uh, these days, I would absolutely love to put that one on. Now national team jerseys. Um, I always said I don't have a 98 World Cup shirt. Technically, I don't have a 94 one either, but I always count my Brazil jerseys, uh, even the replica that I had a 94 World Cup uh, jersey. But it's really weird because I have from every other World Cup that I watch, I have a jersey. Um, so I need and the 98 World, World Cup is probably the one that I still cherish the most. And then I saw this same seller that I got the Atletico shirt from, 12 bucks. And that's the team that I think should have won the World Cup. In my opinion, the, the Netherlands were the best team. They didn't have the greatest re re results, but the way they played was really inspirational. Absolutely love this shirt. Also a little stain that I got rid of. I don't like orange with black that much. Honestly, I like my Dutch team with white, but the more I look at it, it's, I really love this one. I'm glad that this is my first 
19th World Cup shirt. They're of course, more that I want. They are really. This is one of World Cups has really, really nice shirts. But yeah, uh, the only thing that I find a little, a little bit odd is the, uh, the shoulder, shoulder patches with ventilation. That's a little bit odd. That's a very Nike thing, 90s Nike thing to do. Uh, it's actually here it is the swoosh because the Nike shirts before that actually had sometimes written the true logo. Uh, it's empty on the back. Pretty darn cool shirt. Pretty darn good price for this one. The next one you already have seen if you watched my video. It's this England shirt, so I just show it. Umbro, as I said, I always wanted to have a red England shirt. Uh, and this has such a classic look to it with the crew neck collar. And as I said, it fits very, 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 very nicely. And I like the little star here. I saw it also with the South Africa inscription, but that would have pumped up the price so much that I went for this for 10 euros. I mean, what can you say? Uh, really, really nice shirt. Uh, I already have a video up on this very uh, recently, so uh, if you want to see more of that, check it out there. And finally, yes, um, there was Valentine's Day and my wife got me something. And yeah, this was not, a, this was actually originally bought, not from a second seller, so this was brand new. Ready? Ireland. The Euro 2016 jersey that they were also wearing during the 2017. That's the last one from Umbro. And the reason why I put this on my list to want is there is no sponsor here. I always said if if the Ireland jerseys weren't sold with a sponsor, I already would have one. And I saw on classic football shirts that they were a few uh, weeks ago that they were selling off um, the Ireland jerseys from that season, player issue. Otherwise player issue cost way too much, but they were selling them off brand new, unworn. Not exactly 100% 100 size, it's a little bit small. Nah, not small, I mean it fits me well, but uh, it's, a tight, it's tighter than I usually wear it, but I actually don't mind it. It feels very comfy, but I just had to get this one. Uh, and I asked my, my wife asked, asked me for a few um, uh, hints. I dropped, I think, three or four. One of them was the current Parma shirt and so on. And she picked this one, and I'm absolutely happy to have this one. Uh, it's so, it's so cool. Uh, I absolutely love the shadow striping, uh, and that I can have finally an Ireland shirt without the. Um, it's a weird sponsor, although I have to say the three sponsor doesn't look as bad on there, but I absolutely love it. Absolutely love this one. This is a true, true specialty uh, that I'm very happy to have in my collection. I gotta make a video about this one when it comes up because there are a few interesting details on it. So yeah, England and Ireland in one video and in one month I got those two and now I need Scotland. <laughs> Now, nah, I actually want to get first, uh, I'm thinking more about a Swiss jersey at the moment. Uh, simply because I want to get a jersey for every country that I've been to in Switzerland. The Czechs uh, are, let's see the countries that I don't have a jersey from that I have been to. That's Switzerland, that's the Czech Republic, that is Tunisia, that is China, that is South Africa. I think that covers it. So those are kind of high-ish on the list. Well, let me know what you thought about these jerseys. I will do individual videos for all of them. I already have done one for England. Check the link at the end of the video or up here. And yeah, let, let me know what you think I should get next. I'd be very curious. Uh, there's another one that I'm very close to getting. It's the Valencia away jersey from... 15, 16, 16, 17, the yellow, red with the blue shoulders from Adidas. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love, love, love it. I would love to get that one. But yeah, have to see. Anyway, if you have any suggestions of jerseys that I should get, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel 
all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.